प्लीज राइट डाउन सर न्यूमरेटर बै डिनामेटर दीज नथिंग बट ए फ्राक्शन मीनिंग वैज फ्राक्शन अंड रेसियो बोथ आर् सें फ्राक्शन अंड रेसियो बोथ आर् सें नौ लिजन केरफुली टू द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनिट्स न्यूमरेटर बै डिनामेटर इट ईज का फ्राक्शन मीनिंग वैज इट ईज का रेसियो सो बोथ आर् सें नौ लिजन केरफुली Listen carefully. Example, example. For example, number of people to complete a work increases. People to complete a work increases. Number of days to complete the work decreases. People increases. Number of days to complete the work decreases. Speed increases. Speed increases. Time to complete the work decreases. Am I right? Suppose price of a product increases. Price increases. Number of people who purchase the product will decrease. Price into consumption it is a decrease. If the length length of a rectangle increases, assuming here work is constant, here distance is constant, here expenditure it is constant. Price into consumption is expenditure. Here the area it is constant. Length increases, breadth will decrease to maintain the same area. I hope it is clear. Number of people to do a work increases, days to complete the work decreases. Speed increases, time decreases. Price increases, consumption decreases. Length increases, breadth decreases. Now see here. That means if one quantity, if it is increasing, another quantity it is decreasing. If one quantity, if it is decreasing. Another quantity it is increasing. A increases, B decreases. When it will happen? When A and B are inversely proportional to each other. When A and B are inversely proportional to each other. I will again come back to this point in the next few classes. Just I will give you a glimpse. A and B are inversely proportional to each other. Inverse. means if one increases another will decrease proportionally if a doubles b will become half a becomes four times b will become one fourth a equal to k by b a into b equal to k that means in inverse proportionality product of two quantities it is constant in inverse proportionality product of two quantities it is constant product of two quantities it will be constant when the product of two quantities it will be constant when they are inversely proportional to each other when they are inversely proportional to each other product of two quantities it is a constant product of two quantities it is a constant classic examples examples speed into time is a distance example Speed into time equal into distance. One classical example: Men into days equal into work. Men into days equal into work. Length into breadth equal into area. Length into breadth equal into area. Price into consumption equal into expenditure. Price into consumption it is equal into expenditure. Expenditure. i hope the idea it is clear right are any such values where the product of two parameters it is constant product of two parameters it is constant i will take an example of this to show how beautifully this concept of inverse proportionality work whenever the product of two parameters it is constant if one increases another will decrease another will decrease another will decrease now example 1 listen carefully sir listen carefully probably next 15 minutes you might not have seen in any class see here 6 kilometers per hour 30 minutes late 6 kilometers per hour 30 minutes late 9 kilometers per hour 10 minutes early 10 minutes early generally in our textbooks only distance is asked now today we will see what is the actual speed to reach the office what is the actual distance to from home to office what is the actual tra traveling time 
from source to destination. Actual speed, actual distance and actual time. Actual speed, actual distance and actual time. Listen carefully, sir. Distance can be done by using LCM concept, right? We are not discussing TSD problems. We are discussing how these inverse will work. Inverse will work. First problem, listen carefully. Five examples I will do of this type. Now, speed into time equivalent to distance. From home to office, distance it is constant. That means, if speed and time are inversely proportional, speed increases, time will decrease. Speed decreases, time will increase. I hope it is clear. If Anil Nair travels at 6 km per hour, he is not reaching office in time. He is reaching office 30 minutes late. Next day, if he travels at 9 km, he is reaching 10 minutes early. There must be a time. Suppose, for example, 9 am is the class. 30 minutes late, 9.30. 10 minutes early, 8.50. There must be a traveling time from the time he started to the time he reached the destination. There must be some actual speed. There must be some actual distance. Now see here, how am I solving? Speed ratio, step number 1. Speed ratio, 3 2 are 6, 3 3 are 9. Speed ratio is 2 is to 3. Yes or no? Speed ratio is 2 is to 3. Speed and time are inversely proportional. Time ratio will become 3 is to 2. Are you all with me? Speed ratio is 2 is to 3. Time ratio 3 is to 2. Difference it is nothing but 1. 3 and 2. Difference is 1. If 9 am Anil Nair has to start the class. He started the class 30 minutes late. 9.30. He started next time. While starting from home to office. He reached 10 minutes early. 8.50. 9 am. 30 minutes late. 10 minutes early. 9.30 and 8.50. I hope it is clear. So, 3 and 2. Difference is 1. 8.50, 9.30. What is the difference? 40 minutes. So, 1 is nothing but 40. I hope it is clear. Late means age. Early means piche. Late means beyond the expected time is taking more time. Beyond the actual time is taking less time. 1 is becoming 40. So, it is into 40. It is into 40. It is into 40. He is taking 120 minutes with 30 minutes late. Actual time is T. After taking 30 minutes extra, he is reaching at 120. Or actual time is T. He is reaching 10 minutes early. Minus 10, he is taking 80. In both the cases, what is the actual time? Actual time is nothing but 90 minutes. What is the traveling time from source to destination? One and a half hours. One and a half hours he traveled from source to destination. I hope the idea it is clear. Actual time it is clear. Now see here. In one hour he travels how much? 6 kilometers. One hour is 60 minutes. 60 minutes he travels 6 kilometers. 1 hour is 60 minutes. 60 minutes he travels 6 kilometers. But with this speed, how much time he traveled? 120 minutes. 120 minutes. 60 twos are 120. 6 twos are 12. Actual distance is 12 kilometers. Actual distance is 12 kilometers. Or you can do like this. 1 hour 9 kilometers. 1 hour it is 60 minutes. 60 minutes it is 9 kilometers, but I want 10 minutes. Sorry, I want 80 minutes. 80 minutes it is nothing but 12. Why? Because 60 by 80 is 3 by 4. 9 by 12 is also 3 by 4. Actual distance is 12 kilometers. Actual time is 9 kilometers. Actual speed is actual distance by actual time. 12 by 90 minutes in our C is by 60. 12 by 90 by 60. With inverse proportion also, you can find out actual speed, actual distance and actual time. Actual speed, actual distance and actual time. Again 1 by 1. Again 1 by 1. Second time I will solve it. Please ensure that you write down in the notebook parallelly. Write down parallelly. 
so that it will be extremely clear to you with a little bit of practice generally most of the students will what they will do is they will just to do actual distance but gone are the days where only actual distance is asked they might also ask you actual speed and actual time you will be very familiar one side do maximum problems now see here this is the actual question for all the slow learners i am doing little one more time speed learners if you have understood it start creating your own question actual speed actual distance actual time step number 1 speed ratio is 2 is to 3 speed and time are inversely proportional time ratio is 3 and 2 difference is 1 30 minutes late 10 minutes early 30 minute aage 10 minute piche difference is 40 140 is or 40 340 is or 120 240 is or 80 he reached office 120 minutes with 30 minutes late 120 minutes 30 minutes extra time he took it that means actual time is 90 minutes or you can see this value 80 with 10 minutes early he would have he reached 10 minutes before so 80 plus 10 is 90 or 120 minus 30 it is 90 i hope it is clear with this speed 6 km per hour that means in 1 hour 60 minutes he will travel 6 but with this speed how much time he traveled 120 minutes 60 62 12 62 12 12 again speed is a distance by time 12 by 90 by 60 why 90 by 60 minutes converted into hours minutes converted into hours i hope you enjoyed this inverse proportion tomorrow a entire class i am going to do a into b equal to k a increases b decreases a decreases b increases kindly click on the like button if you enjoy this step by step ratio method there is also an lcm method ratio method just a glimpse i am giving you more and more examples we will solve 30 km per hour 12 minutes late 30 km per hour 12 minutes late 60 km per hour 18 minutes early 18 minutes early find the actual speed find the actual distance find the actual time actual speed actual distance and actual time listen carefully 30 and 60 speed it is speed ratio is 1 is to 2 speed and time are inversely proportional speed 1 is to 2 time it is 2 is to 1 2 and 1 gap is nothing but 1 12 age 18 difference so difference is nothing but 30 1 into 30 it is 30 it is 60 and it is 30 60 with 12 minutes late that means t plus 12 equal to 60 or t minus 18 equal to 30 in both the ways you will get the answer so time period is nothing but 48 minutes time period is nothing but 48 minutes now see how to calculate actual distance now see Dist 30 kilometers. Okay, I will take this value. Otherwise, unnecessarily the elimination. One hour, 60 kilometers. 60 minutes. It is 60 kilometers. With this speed, he traveled 30. 30 minutes. Answer is nothing but 30 kilometers. Answer is 30 kilometers. I hope the idea it is clear. Time period. Actual sp. One hour, 60 minutes, 30. 60 kilometers i want only i hope the idea it is clear speed is nothing but speed is nothing but distance by time distance by time so this is nothing but 30 by 48 by 60 48 by 60 i hope the idea it is clear distance is nothing but 30 kilometers very easy question if you know it distance from source to destination is 30 km time period is 48 minutes speed is distance by time 30 by 48 by 
then you do the calculation for the speed. Now, two more questions. Now, please drop your pen, sir. Drop your pens. Kindly drop your pens. Let us do this question orally, sir. 15 minutes late. Please drop your pens. Try to do it orally. 25 kilometers per hour. 15 minutes late. 15 kilometers per hour. 15 minutes early. Please drop your pen, sir. Do it orally. Find the time or everything. Speed is 1 is to 2. Time period will be 2 is to 1. Difference is 1. 1 is 30. It is into 30. It is into 30. Actual time period is 45 minutes. Are you all with me? Actual time period is 45 minutes. 25 kilometers per hour. 1 hour. 65 minutes. It is 25 kilometers. With this speed. He travelled 60 minutes. Time distance it is 25 kilometers. So, speed is nothing but distance by time. 25 by 45 by 60. Calculate it. You will get it in kilometers per hour. Inverse relation. Just one. Speed into time equivalent to distance. I took it and I solved the problem. Sir, what if in, instead of it is late and early, it is late and late. That also you can do it. 12 kilometers per hour. If the idea is clear, let the question change. Still you can solve it. 12 kilometers per hour, 40 minutes late. 18 kilometers per hour, 10 minutes late. 10 minutes late. Let us do one by one. 12 and 18. Speed ratio it is 2 is to 3. Time period ratio 3 and 2. Difference is 1. It is nothing but 30. Why it is 30? This is 9. 40 minutes late, 9.40. 10 minutes late, 9.10. 9.40, 9, 9.10. What is the difference? 30. 1 into 30. So, 3 into 30, 90. 2 into 30, 60. So, actual time is T. 40 minutes late. He reached it in 90 minutes. Time period, actual time period it is 50 minutes. Actual time period it is 50 minutes. 1 hour 12 kilometers, 60 minutes. It is 12 kilometers. With this speed, he travelled 90 minutes. 12 fives are 60, 18 fives are 90. Distance is 8 kilometers. Speed is distance by time, 18 by Time period it is 50 by 60. It is in kilometer per hour. It is in kilometer per hour. I hope the idea it is clear. It is used in all the problems where speed and time are inversely proportional to each other. Inversely proportional to each other. One more question we will solve. 30 kilometers per hour. 30 kilometers per hour. 5 pm. 60 kilometer per hour. 60 km per hour, 3 p.m., 3 p.m., find the actual distance, find the actual distance. So, here, if you see here, speed ratio is 1 is to 2, time period ratio is 2 is to 1, difference is 1, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 2 hours, this is nothing but 4 hours, this is nothing but 2 hours, 1 hour 30, 4 hours 120, 1 hour 60, 2 hours 120. Direct answer is distance is 120 kilometers. I hope the idea it is clear. Next it is 15 kilometers per hour, 8 pm. 45 kilometers per hour, 2 pm. Find the distance. Just by looking at a question, within seconds you will get the answer if you have understood the approach. 15, 45, 1 and 3. This is nothing but 3 and 1. Difference is 2. Difference is 2. 2 p.m., 8 p.m., 6 hours. It is into 3. It is into 3, 1 into 3. 9 hours. 1 hour 15. 9 hours, it is 135. 1 hour 45. 3 hours, it is 135 kilometers. I hope the idea, it is clear.